information. I've uploaded a photo that I got uh, from the other site, which I mentioned on the blog post. And I'm in the edit screen right now, but I'm just going to switch over to create to show you how I add text. I'm going to click on the text button. And then I'm going to type in the text that I want. My computer's just a bit slow here. Um, so I'm going to type in, want to write more blog posts? Join the club. And I'm going to click on add. And there's my text. So I'm just going to move it up here. And you can see, I can't really see what I've written because it's in white. So I'm just going to click here in the color screen. And now I've made it black. And I think maybe I'll click on bold. The next thing I think I want to do is separate it onto two lines. So to do that, I have to go back into here into the text screen and do a hard enter. And that's going to break break it and put it onto two lines. The next thing I'm going to do is center that. I'm over here on the right now um, in this editor. And I'm going to center it. And then I think I'm just going to move it down a bit. And I like the way that looks. So I'm finished now with the text. I'm going to click on the edit screen. And now I'm going to resize. And in Mari Smith's post, she suggested the dimensions. I'll just go back there for a second. The dimensions that she suggests are down here. Um, sorry, let me find this. Here, 970 by, nine by 680. So actually, um, so I'm going to put in 970. And you can see it, it should be 680, but it's 727. I could play around with this a bit more using cropping and all of that, but I'm just going to take my chances. And I'm going to click OK. The next step, now that it's resized, is to save and share. And this is where I can rename my photo. And uh, I might want to put a keyword in here. So I might say, you know, write more blog posts. And then I usually like to put the size of my photo in here, just for my own reference. 970 width and 727 height. And I'm going to save that. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. And um, so we don't need to look at that step. Yeah, so it's just going to ask me where I want to save it. So. Um, Yep, that's basically how I created this version of my photo in Picnic. Thanks for watching.